Hey guys, this is Sam, and about a half an hour ago at the time of recording this video, Apple decided to push out iOS 8.0.2 to the public in order to rectify and fix the iOS 8.0.1 disaster that occurred yesterday. If you aren't aware, I actually made a video on this where I go completely in depth about all the changes in this update and of course what the iOS 8.0.1 disaster was, but basically it made your iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, and some people even reported the iPhone 5S inoperable, Touch ID did not work in the slightest, and cellular service just wouldn't connect no matter what carrier you were on, it just wouldn't work. So I've got iOS 8.0.2 here, I'm going to install it, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as it's done. So it took about 5 minutes to install, maybe 10 depending on the speed of your device, but after using it, I can confirm that you can see I'm connected to Verizon on my iPhone 6 here, so the cellular is definitely back to working 100% and flawlessly, and also if I try to use Touch ID, let's just go ahead and try to set up a fingerprint, that works absolutely flawlessly as well, so that's good. It took Apple over 24 hours to fix their mistake, but it is good that iOS 8.2 is out, and it is here with these bug fixes for iOS 8.0.1. Now, as far as all of the changes in this update, here's what's new. This release contains improvements and bug fixes, including fixes an issue in iOS 8.0.1 that impacted cellular network connectivity and Touch ID on iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Fixes the bug so HealthKit apps can now be made available on the App Store. Addresses an issue where third-party keyboards could become deselected when a user enters their passcode. Fixes an issue that prevented some apps from some apps some apps from accessing photos from the photo library. Improves the reliability of the reachability feature on iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Fixes an issue that could cause unexpected cellular data usage when receiving SMS slash MMS messages. Better support of Ask to Buy for family sharing for in-app purchases. Fixes an issue where ringtones were sometimes not restored from iCloud backups. And finally, iOS 8.0.2 fixes a bug that prevented uploading photos and videos from Safari. As you did hear me read, those are tons and tons of changes that Apple bundled in to one single iOS update. There are no issues reported so far. I have already updated my 6 and I can tell you guys, just using App Store, using other apps, haven't experienced any problems whatsoever, but only bug fixes and performance improvements. So definitely update to iOS 8.0.2 if you haven't already. This is Sam with iUpdateOS and I'll see you guys in my next video.